Hi there, Dr. Gary on the road. Good afternoon. We sell dental practices nationwide. We're dental practice brokers. Uh, today's topic is going to be what happens when the bank, in other words, attention sellers, what happens uh, when the bank or the DSO uh, finds out that you've had a dental board complaint against you? What is the process? What happens after that? So let's uh, talk about that today, all right? Before we get into that, um, as I say, we're selling tax practices nationwide. We have 10 employees, 20, uh, I think it's, uh, yeah, uh, 11 years we've been in business, 25 years as a dentist, dentist, and 103, no, we're adding six more practices this week. So that will be 108 practices for sale nationwide. So we're excited to help you. We're available 24-7 to you. But we answer the phone from 7.30 a.m. East Coast time to 9.30 p.m. East Coast time. We work 363 days a year, and uh, we take off Christmas and Easter. All the information you're about to hear is for entertainment purposes only. It is not legal or business advice. Our phone number is 201-663-0935. Our uh, website is dentalpracticeguide.com. So keep an eye on us. But I think this week we have an email blast going out to our uh, members. Whoever signs up with us, signs a non-disclosure, uh, you'll get an email blast about once a month with all the new practices in our complete listing. I think we have seven, six, seven, somewhere around there this month. We got a new one to call this morning. So give us a ring. We're here to help you. 201-663-0935. Remember, if you're a seller and you're thinking about selling to the DSOs, they often pay our whole commission. There's no commission to you. And when you work with us, often based on criteria, I'll get your legal fees reimbursed at closing. At the closing table, successful closing, we'll get them reimbursed. So anyway, here's what happened. I just got this call an hour ago, email and then a call. We have a private buyer buying the real estate and the dental office. And the bank called me. They did the due diligence on the seller. And they discovered a board action, a board of dentistry action against the doctor a few years ago. They wanted an explanation. When I went on the board's website, it didn't say much. It said is <coughs> um, the matter was settled, essentially, and no action taken against the doctor. So in a situation like this, once again, very important in the beginning, all sellers, you've got to inform uh, your attorney, tell a broker, tell your attorney, about anything that may come up in a due diligence when they do the research on you. Uh, it's important. Don't wait for them to find out about it and then it's like, well, what's this? Why didn't you tell us beforehand? Confide in your attorney and your broker. We keep it confidential and as long as we know about it. On this circumstance, the attorney nor did I know about the fact doctor had a board action against him. Doctor felt it was of minor consequence. He wasn't worried about it. When I called him, it was something that was really, I'd call it irrele irre irrelevant. Uh, let's call it a nonsense patient's type of complaint that was summarily dismissed. No board action really taken. Uh, but that's what we did. Um, we found out we called the doctor. He's letting us, writing us a letter of explanation that this was a nonsense case about a complainer and it was summarily dismissed. He'll write that. I'll send that letter to the, uh, this was the bank under these circumstances, but it could be the DSO checking also. I mean, the message here is the banks, the DSO, if you're a seller, all going to do research on you. If there's something that's out there, they're finding it. Confide in your attorney, confide in your broker so we can manage it. You know, if we don't think it's a big deal or it is, um, you know, it's something we may want to address early on. Uh, when we address it early on, it gives us a lot of time to handle this, uh, you know, this incident, let's call it. But if it goes to last minute, like this deal is already halfway there, um, buyer's already approved, 
uh, the appraiser for the real estate's already been um, assigned. So we're, you know, we're moving along on this deal. I wish I knew it a little earlier ahead of time. Doctor didn't disclose it, but we handled it. He'll be sending this letter of explanation of what happened, and hopefully that's enough for the uh, the bank to satisfy their needs. In other words, another piece of paper in the file. So that's what's happening. So be aware of that. If there's something, just tell me, tell the attorney, your attorney, and they'll deal with what we have to and uh, disclose if so is needed. We'll let the attorney make that up. Once again, another reason to use a dental attorney. All right? So nothing to worry about, but this stuff happens and you got to be prepared for it. All right? Great talking to you. Those six, seven new practices are coming out this week or in our email blast. If you're not on that, contact us. We'll get you on that blast once you sign the uh, non-disclosure and you'll be updated every month. So we're excited. Uh, we're working on something big. It looks like it's going to go through. I'm really excited about this. It's going to help our business. And let's see uh, where we go from here. Thank you. Bye.